towards the B bomb site once again. They have to execute here, really. If they fall back, they have to be very slow. They have no information, no apartments. Middle, they don't know what's waiting for them. Smoke down, not a huge deal for the terrorists right now. They still have 45 seconds here, but it looks like they're ready to commit. Flashbangs in, and they'll go through. Good play, Automatic gets directly in front of the smoke. Tiny corner to sit inside of, but he's hoping that they'll still be gray screen when they walk out. Instead, they're going to be white screen when he walks through. Good flashbang thrown by his team, and he gets two kills on the back of it. Kerrigan doing damage from the pick. Good find on Skadoodle, but Guardian couldn't withstand the pressure long enough. As he went down, it's Olaf that'll play inside of the smoke. Still being traded, and in the favor of Cloud9, his automatic swings toward the arch. He cuts off a rotation and takes back Olaf, who has to turn away from library. Not only does it allow the plant, but it forces Nico to have to go very aggressive without a kit. There is one down in the site. Good bait to find that automatic is still in the cubby position. But wow. automatic is far too keen to hit the shot on the Glock in 9-7. Good start from Cloud. He's been sharp all tournament. Kerrigan continues to charge. Around to the site, he's cut off by Rush. Elevates himself toward the graveyard. Does leave him exposed to where Olaf was walking out from the apartment, but it's still all in good faith for Skadoodle on the scene. Oh. And he goes rapping. He does. Good trade from Guardian, however. And he'll go for the safest plant possible, and rightly so, because it's not exactly what you'd expect coming from Library. Does Guardian read this? He has no idea at all as to where Automatic is, but plays it slow enough that he finds him sneaking into the sights, and it's the round to phase. Well, there we go. But a stack inside of the site. Or at least a doubled position for Tarek and Rush. Not so much a stack, but playing off of each other in close proximity. Skadoodle will watch the smoke. The Guardian willing to go through it. They have to do so with the UMP. Instead, it's over inside of the meat grinder. That is the A site, but without the crossfire, they're easily able to isolate them inside the oh, site. No. Tarek has to get aggressive, but Kerrigan's in position to take him back, and it's the advantage for FaZe. The one time they don't play pit in the hands of Rain. First up, Rolnoff could catch them off walking in from ruins, but he also has to consider CT. No further utility to hold off Cloud9. They, in turn, don't have kits. So they need to go now if they're going to go at all. Tough decision to make. In fact, they're letting this go very, very late. Rush with one kill, traded by Kerrigan, and Rain's going to shut it down. No chance of winning the round at this point in time. As Tarek's locked in the corner, he'll lose his gun. Rain makes damn sure of it. Well, there we go, Rain finding some form there as Cloud9 with the pick. As Tarek does hit him, go towards middle. Can he do it again with the USB? He gets two. Can't find the third, but the damage has been done. Certainly has, because he's opened up the arch side. Four players of Cloud9, they're all still alive, are so far removed from the action, having stacked up the quad side, that Stewie now has to have a brilliant moment of individual skill. And he's shut down immediately by Kerrigan. That's going to allow for the bomb plan. Yes, still the advantage to Cloud9, but that's taken back by Rain, who gets aggressive. Tarek quickly and accurately removes of him, much to the...